Hey there, everyone. Ken here at Mercedes-Benz to answer some quick questions that you might have about going electric or getting into a brand new Mercedes-Benz EQS. First question, do electric cars have engines? No, they don't, actually. The electric vehicles like the EQS feature synchronous electric motors, which are powered by electric battery packs, like the one in here is 105.7 kilowatt hour battery pack. Synchronous motors drive their energy directly from the battery source itself, and they don't feature the same parts and bits and bobs as an internal combustion engine. So, to answer your second question, do electric vehicles use oil? No, they don't, because they don't have to lubricate oil or worry about combusting fuel sources inside of them. What are the maintenance schedules like, you might ask? So we actually recommend that you come in and service your EQS once every 7,500 and then 22,500 miles to change out air cabin filters, wheel alignments, and get your wiper blades changed. That's about it. So one of the questions that I get asked most frequently is, are electric cars better than gas vehicles? It's a tough question to answer, actually. To put it very simply, though, in this sales consultant's humble opinion, I would say yes. So first and foremost, you have instant power right at your toes, right there. You just push down the pedal and you've got power right immediately at your feet. Second is it's super environmentally friendly. And third is that it costs less over the cost of ownership. So you're going to be filling up your vehicle less. It's going to cost you less to fill up. On average, even here on Long Island with crazy energy prices, you're going to be spending about 40% of what you would normally spend to fill up an, a gas-powered equivalent size vehicle. That's a pretty significant savings over the course of your ownership period. Are they better for the environment? I have one thing to point to. No exhaust. No exhaust means that you're putting out less harmful pollutants into the environment you are charging with a majority of green energy. We are increasing our green energy every day here on Long Island. You are doing the right thing for the environment. The last thing you might want to know is, what about the performance of the vehicle? Does this still perform the way that you would expect a gas vehicle to perform? And I can tell you assuredly that it performs just as good or better than any gas-powered vehicle that you've ever driven. This is an EQS 580, which features 516 horsepower and 611 pound-feet of torque, which is a lot of power underfoot. And we also have the single motor EQS 450 Plus, which features 329 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque. You're gonna love them. You have to come and check it out. So perhaps the number one question, we're number three, we're number two, the top three questions that I get about EQS every day all have to do with charging. Because charging is a new way of thinking about powering your vehicle and how you're going to fill up your vehicle every day, so to speak. So, let's talk about it. First question that I always get is, how long does it take to charge your EV? Or my EV, in this case, being EQS. That's a good question, and there's a couple different answers that I can give to you. Charging comes in a variety of different levels. We have three different levels of charging. Level one is in case of emergency. You don't want to do that. We, we equip all of our vehicles here at Mercedes-Benz of Smithtown with an emergency charger, which charges the vehicle at two to four miles per hour. So it would take several days for you to fully charge the vehicle on a regular household plug. Second is level two. That's what we would typically recommend that you set up in your home, either in a garage, outside, Yes, you can charge in the rain. You can charge in the snow. Don't worry about it. And typically, a level two charger at home, under ideal conditions, about 40 amps, is going to deliver a 10 to 100% charge of the vehicle in 11.25 hours. Now, I know that those are very specific numbers for a roundabout guess, but all you need to think about is plugging it in overnight, and you should be good to go. The third and last charging tile that we have available is level three. And now if you come to the dealership, or if you go to the mall, or if you go to the outlets or something like that, you might find a level three charging station. That is going to be the fastest way to charge your vehicle. It typically does cost money. You get free 30 minute sessions for the first two years of ownership in your EQS. But level three charging under ideal conditions can charge your vehicle from 10% to 80% in only 31 minutes. So you're amping up your vehicle and ready to go in no time. 
How long does it stay charged? Well, it stays charged for as long as you've got range. The EQS features a 105.7 kilowatt hour battery pack, which can charge your vehicle for an extended range, which is pretty significant. When we're looking at the EQS 450, we're thinking about 350 miles, of course, heavily dependent upon how you're driving, where you're driving, are you going uphill all the time? Do you have your air conditioning set to 60 degrees? All of those things will play a role in how much charge you actually have in the vehicle. In the case of the EQS 580, you will expect a range of about 340 miles. I also recommend that you charge it at home, right? Check out qmerit.com and qmerit has some great information on how to charge at home, how to set up a charger, and you can always contact your Mercedes-Benz sales consultant to get all of the information on which charger you should be using, which is the ChargePoint Home Flex, by the way. So a couple other questions that I get asked frequently and a couple answers might change over the next couple of months. The first and foremost is here on Long Island, we have a traffic problem. I don't know if you knew this, but there is a traffic problem afoot. So one of the questions that I get asked frequently is, is this car HOV ready? So as of right now, they are planning on changing the HOV rules as of February 1st of next year, February 2022, and only plug-in electric vehicles and plug-in electric hybrid vehicles will be eligible for HOV clean pass stickers on the car. Other one is tax credits. If you are purchasing the vehicle, you are eligible for the full $7,500 tax credit because at this time Mercedes-Benz has not reached the threshold where we've passed over 200,000 vehicles sold yet. Things are changing. We don't know exactly what's happening over the new Build Back Better plan yet, but we do anticipate that this program will continue for the next several years. There's also the NYSERDA rebate, which makes you eligible for an additional $500 credit towards the vehicle. So both of those are tax credits. They are not things that come off of the price of the vehicle, but you do get that money back. Thanks for joining me today and listening to me talk about some of these frequently asked questions about EQS. If you have any other questions that you want to know or learn more about our electric vehicles and our upcoming lineup of vehicles, be sure to contact us here at Mercedes-Benz of Smithtown by our email, our phone, or online anytime. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you driving in your new EQ vehicle very soon.